Welcome back and a bit of a short update this time for the first half of this week. Um, as you can see here, Devon's in the process of prepping the bonding areas there on the four plane skins. And Dan's continuing to work on the engine. As you can see here, he's sort of test fitted the condenser for the air conditioning system and is uh, getting ready to start creating some brackets to hold that in place. And Jeff spent most of Monday overhauling um, our compressor. It was in need of some maintenance and uh, still having uh, some problems with it. So I've got a couple more parts on order, but it is running. It's just not able to run consistently long. So we weren't able to do that second uh, or the final pressure test on the cabin, unfortunately. And Dan had the ECU hooked up to the battery in preparation for the pressurization test. But because the compressor is uh, not functioning well enough to do that, um, we have to delay that till later on. And here you can see uh, Dan's got the brackets sorted out for the condenser there. And uh, he's actually mounted the uh, radiator as well. That's now bolted onto the firewall along with the uh, intercooler. And this other water air intercooler is also there. And uh, there's another look from the brackets there. And that uh, coolant tank there off to the left, up the top there, that's for um, overflow for the fuel tanks. And there's Devon now prepping the bonding areas there for one of the aileron skins. And because I'm not able to do a full pressure test run again until we get the compressor sorted out, I decided to just move on and uh, to the next step with the doors. So I took some measurements there and you see I marked them on tape there of how big the gap is. So I know how much build up I need to do on these door frames now. And as you can see, I've sanded this one, I've taken the primer back off of there. Uh, ready to actually do the layup of carbon fiber in there to build up that thickness and just getting this one over here ready to uh, sand as well. So Dan was in the process of uh, locating this intake tray and it turns out that that second turbo was just sitting slightly high uh, to allow it to sit down where it needs to be so he's making an adjustment to move that down. And here I'm sanding the one on the other side so what I'm actually going to be doing is building up um, a varied thickness there in order to close the gap so when the door is shut and the seal isn't inflated um, the seal will actually sit hard up against the frame so then when the cabin does expand under pressurization um, the the seal will then be expanding to the point that um, hopefully we can get to five and a half psi before the seal actually breaks and here's Devin in the process of trimming off uh, one of the baggage doors there just doing a a rough trim to the you know just near the the edge of that uh, on the bandsaw and then uh, once he gets done with those he did both of them and then he's uh, just using the sander there the right angle to sand it right back to uh, the actual edge where that's going to be so he's working on those two so he's got a bunch of different sanding things that he's working on right now so in order to get this turbo to sit down a little lower uh, what had to be done and what Dan did was basically just trim this little end off that pipe there off the uh, engine mount frame and uh, this is what it looks like when it's all sort of mainly back together now and sitting down so the intake tray now sits where it's supposed to do or where it's supposed to be and uh, can move on to the next thing which I believe he's going to start hooking up fuel lines uh, tomorrow. And at the end of today is actually just looking there at the instructions for the uh, dryer for the AC system which is just a little unit that dries the air I guess so he's uh, progressing along nicely with that and uh, this is a frame now all uh, ready and marked off for where my layers are going to be and all that stuff so I'll be working on that and uh, then after that I'll be working on getting the actual door frames ready to prime so we can actually paint them correctly and then uh, pro seal the uh, inflatable seals on there and then get them back on and do another pressure test. So that's our update for the first half of this week and uh, thanks again for watching and tune in on Saturday and see what uh, we get up to.